Hello, my gorgeous Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. Hope you're all feeling absolutely wonderful. So Aquarius, I want to jump straight in. I don't like to lose any time. Let's jump in head first. This will be the clarifying deck and that should be over there. All right. So Aquarius, hope you're all doing well. I want to talk about you and them not you versus them i do see a lot of titles where it says you versus them kind of feels like it's a bit of a, a competition so i want to avoid putting the word versus i just really want to focus on you and them your person of interest regardless of the connection that you have it will be very private very personal very unique i don't want to put any subtitle um, or anything else that can influence the cards i just want to know for the collective watching this cross watches you are always welcomed here just the current energies and of course uh, future possibilities between you and this particular person that you are thinking about the reason why you are watching this reading now Aquarius tomorrow I am um, I gotta stop pointing that's actually rude my apologies uh, Aquarius tomorrow at 12 p.m. so Saturday 12 p.m. Mark that in your calendars. It will be uploaded at 12 p.m. I will be doing, I will be personally be doing your bonus weekend mini love tarot reading. And I cannot wait to read for you. It is an absolute pleasure there. And also Aquarius, if you do like how I read, we'll do this two more times. If you do like how I read, if you like the energy that I bring and how I interpret the cards after nearly probably 27 plus years, I do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel that way you are guaranteed to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I Fifi do for you here in Australia every single Friday so right now it is the 11th of October and this is the last quarter of the year and so much can happen all right here we go three two last one all right here we go i usually find out very early pretty early what type of connection you do have with this person well it looks like that you are in a position of power as always of course aquarius we have judgment scorpio energy but you see this is when you are pretty much judged you're an executioner you are judging a situation from afar now this could be for many reasons should i continue with this person should i give this person another chance well how do i really feel about them so now i believe some of you may have had an epiphany a wake-up call some kind of spiritual awakening or as i say an aha moment about this person this person that you have in mind and for those of you that are not talking to this person yes they may be returning asking you for a second chance now i'm going to say this very early aquarius if you do not want an ex to return or if you don't want to talk to them anymore or that's it it's over this is probably not your reading we need to probably be a bit more open for example if you do want to talk to someone um, if you want to work something out this then this is definitely your reading and of course you know if there's a possibility that someone may return back into your life and you've completely cut that off that is fair enough do check your dedicated playlist i guarantee there will be a reading there that will jump at you will resonate with you Someone's been thinking about you. And I think Aquarius, because this is a sword card. Now, this is Libra energy, but as a sword card, it does encompass Aquarius and Gemini energy. I think that you've both been thinking about each other. But your person has been thinking about you a lot more though. This is all about rest, recuperation, recovery. It's meditating, it's planning, mentally planning their next thoughts. Now, I do believe there needs to be quite a lot of healing here because this is what happens after the three of swords, which is heartbreak. Mm. okay obviously something ended here i highly doubt you're talking to this person um if you are it's probably on again or off again it's not the same as it was before some of you have recently stopped talking to this person we do have the five of wands that is leo energy now everyone is arguing right too many cooks spoil the broth see it's actually overflowing nobody realizes that the actual floor has caught on fire even the cats are fighting right so there might have been an argument, a conflict here, a challenge, a struggle between the both of you. And either Aquarius, you left this person or they left you, but regardless, your person has been thinking about the last time you were together. Look at this, we do have the lovers, Gemini energy. 
it's interesting because we have Archangel Raphael always positioned in the middle. Archangel Raphael is excellent with health, with travel, especially air travel, but also with healing relationships and of course with our heart chakra. Now I do believe now that this person is missing you quite a lot. The fact here, and this is the thing, we're only a few shy days for a few shy days away from Scorpio energy. And we do have that judgment card here. This person may be deciding to do something, planning something mentally from the heart. And uh, yeah, they're missing you. We do have the four of cups, cancer energy. You know, Aquarius, you might find yourself feeling quite melancholic too over this person where things were good, but something happened. This was a turning point here where things flipped with that five of wands um definitely couldn't have been if we there was a conflict we we didn't see eye to eye maybe there was also an intrusion of some sort we do have the nine of swords that is gemini of course aquarius and libra energy how is your sleep aquarius do you find yourself tossing and turning you wake up you and you feel even more tired we might have insomnia here it's almost like some of you may be feeling a bit of regret. Maybe you said something that you kind of think in retrospect, maybe that was really savage. It was really hard here. I don't, I know it's easy for me to sit here and say this Aquarius, but I don't want you to feel too, too guilty here because for you to actually explode or for you to say something, a hard truth, it's because someone was pushing your buttons because you are actually, believe it or not, you're very patient and you're very flexible here. So I, I think here yeah, your person is emotionally regretting what they have done. For some of you Aquarius, you might be a little bit savage with your words. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Sometimes people do need to hear a hard truth though. But I see here that we're both kind of, we're hurting a bit, but we're not together. Let's see. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. We have you, the star Aquarius energy. You're keeping your options open. You may already have your eye on someone else. Some of you have probably already moved on. Well, Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Two of Swords. Ah, I, I can see what's going on here. We've got Libra, but remember, as a sword, it does encompass, of course, I mean, it does cover Gemini and Aquarius energy. We do have the Seven of Wands, Leo energy. And the last card is the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, Aries energy. I always take one more out for the outcome. More Aries energy with the Fool. I can see what's happening here. We have a past person or at least the person that you have history with, the one that you're dealing with now will be returning asking you for a second chance and then boom, what happens? We've got someone new coming into your life. It's really, I suppose, a good problem to have because this is you. You might be feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed, a bit confused, a bit spread out here at the moment. It's like, I have strong feelings for that person. The one that I would say disappointed you, that gave you stress, that broke your heart here. This is the card of fantasies, illusions. We're daydreaming life with this person again. Look at this, this person here that you are originally, you know, the reason why you wanted to watch this reading. The one that you have history with, the one that wants to ask you for a second chance. They want to heal this. And you may be entertaining, emotionally entertaining that thought. But lo and behold, we have someone new coming here. That is interesting. And here we are at a fork in the road a little war between, or as I say, a tug of war between our head and our heart. That's the thing. This past person that is returning wants to fight for you. But then there's another part of you that wants to look at that double Aries energy. We've got even more Aries energy here. Could be strong in your chart or in this part. Well, I'm going to say in this new person's chart here. Um, they definitely could be worldly travel from different cultural backgrounds. They could be long distance as well. And I don't want to sound mean, but I do believe that you kind of need someone with more boss energy. This is definitely a divine masculine here. And this is someone when they see you, they're going to close their eyes and they're going to go for it. Why? Because this new person is sure about you. This could definitely be a father. Um, well, in other words, not for your father. They may be a father here. They could be someone that you work with. It could be a new boss, a new client. It doesn't have to be. But I do feel that your person wants to fight for you. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. You're, you, I think you're going to be holding back from this person returning. You know, it's like, I don't know, some of you have seen that the past relationship with this person maybe wasn't going to work out anyway, too many differences. I almost feel they were a little bit dominating. Like, you know, there was a little bit of your, you kept losing yourself a little bit until, well, where is Aquarius? Where is your identity here? And now we've got someone else with all this fire and passion. If anything, they're going to be supporting all your dreams. 
all of your reasons for motivation, your goals, the doors that you want to smash and kick down. This is interesting. I just feel this new person that is coming into your life, they may also be connected to your career, passion projects and all that. This is someone that wants to see you win and they're very ambitious just like you. Here we go. Either way, you're getting a dream coming true here. There's a lot of healing around you. You are being protected here by your spirit team. But two people, past person and new person. That always happens. Once we kind of take back our energy from a past person that can't feel us anymore, then it's like, oh, I have to go chase Aquarius. But I think if you are keeping your options open, if you've got your eye already on someone else, or if you don't, someone else already has their eye on you. And that's so interesting because Seven of Cups is Scorpio energy. We're literally waltzing into Scorpio season. Oh, that is, ooh, okay. Some of you might already start 2025 with this new person. Here we go. Three, two, last one. Here we go. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe some of you are feeling quite drained by this past person. It's not fun anymore. It's, you may be feeling a little bit bored, very unfulfilled. Yeah, look at that bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Why is the Queen there? Because of the star. It is you again, see? So we've got the star, a double Aquarius energy coming forward. Um, some of you could have definitely been in a long-term committed relationship with this person. Maybe you're talking about getting married. Some of you may have even been married to this person. We've got judgment again. So in this particular deck, it's called karma, but it is judgment. So we're getting judgment twice. We're getting the star twice. This past person will be coming back. They were coming in with gusto. They're coming in with passion. They're coming in with the plan. And get what? guess what? We've got the king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. It's a bit blurry. They will be professing their feelings for you. But I don't know if that's actually enough because someone else here will pique your interest. And I feel that you're more compatible perhaps with this person. They're a bit more lively, a bit more adventurous, a bit more fun. I feel like this person's probably a bit too serious. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but this may, when I say bore you, I don't mean that in a bad way, but they do want to come back home to you. The four of wands, Aries energy, reconciliation. If you are still emotionally confused here, don't worry, because look at this. We've got the two of swords twice. But we also have the Ace of Swords. You're going to know exactly what to do. You are going to have clarity. You are going to have a breakthrough here. This is interesting. We do have the Six of Wands. You always come out winning, Aquarius. Might be dealing with a Leo. Might meet a Leo. I'm seeing very strong fire energy as this new person coming into your life. Wow. This person, who are they? So they could be someone that has an online business that could be an influencer singer songwriter model actor actress writer of any type here but it's like they get you and you get them i don't know if this can be salvaged i think this is something that you need to see for yourself and then you will know because that ace of swords literally cuts through any assumptions or like this analysis paralysis you'll know exactly what to do let's talk about that seven of cups for you yep yeah. It's easy for me to sit here and say this, but try not to stress, please. The Ten of Wands, that is Sagittarius energy, is often known as one of the most burdensome cards, a very stressful card. Um, Aquarius, maybe because we're going towards, you know, the end of the year. This is the last quarter of 2024. A lot of people want things done yesterday, last week, last month, not today, right? Just be very careful in terms of taking, um, shouldering other people's problems, especially this past person. I, I do feel like don't take on their karma because I do feel that perhaps whatever they cry, whatever issues they have, because you're so caring, you may actually shoulder their problems. No, that's actually not fair. We cannot. It's not our job to fix and cure people, though. But I see there's going to be a bit of an emotional dilemma here. It's like I know this person and I can. It's very um, predictable. But then there's this new person. I'm very attracted to them, but I don't know anything about them. But let's talk about you. We have the Seven of Swords. <laughs> that is you, that is Aquarius energy. I see that you're not trusting the process. Sometimes this happens when we don't even trust ourselves to make the right decision. Aquarius, definitely snap out of it because you literally cannot make the wrong decision because you've got judgment twice. That shows you've got good sound of mind, judgment, you've got the Ace of Swords here. I feel that perhaps you will not be telling this new person 
let me reframe that, I'll backtrack. I feel like you're not gonna tell your past person that you perhaps have your eye or you started talking to a new person. That's not being sneaky or conniving or deceitful here. Just there are some things that you need to keep to yourself until you make up your mind. We've got the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, I, I think you're going to leave this past person behind because we have the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. Some of you are li literally already have emotionally disconnected from this person or you're on your way because look at this, you are already walking away and you're going towards the Ace of Wands here. You're not being cold or just cruel and mean. No, you're actually, well, wh what do I want now? So I feel like you bent backwards for this past person and there was just stress and anguish and anxiety here. Perhaps they gave you the silent treatment or they were, they got offended easily and they twisted around and made you look like the bad person. No, this person is very mature, this new one. Let's talk about your decisions with that two of swords. Yeah, okay, I see that you're gonna take your time. You got my favorite knight, the knight of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Take all the time you need because let's be honest, if you have history with this, pers this past person, you have feelings for them, Okay, even emotionally, if your heart is saying no, at the end of the day, you still have history. You know them, they know you. And the Knight of Pentacles is definitely saying, just take your time. There's literally no need to rush. The past person will wait for you. This new person is destined to come into your life anyway. But um, just saying, it seems like both these people now, that's why I say it's a good problem to have. They both want to give you something solid, something of value, which is commitment that often does lead to marriage here as well, if we want to. The seven of ones, please. Ooh, past person is watching you. And you may meet this new person online as well. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. This is the ultimate messenger, the true communicator. If you are easily accessible online, Aquarius, if you are, they definitely could be looking at your socials, your stories. They could be using fake accounts or their family or their friends' accounts to kind of keep tabs on you. And let's just say if you're exploring online dating or accepting new friend requests, or there's been a friend that you've been a friend or the follower for a long time, they may reach out to you because it's the online card. It's also the spy card. This new person that is going to full on, I can see this, look at that really strong beginnings Look at that. Wow, double Aries energy. I'm seeing very strong divine masculine here. We all have divine masculine and feminine within us, but they know what they want. This person is going to say what they mean and mean what they say. I'm very inclined to, to suggest that you're going to break the cycle with this past person. Let's talk about the emperor, please. That's it. Yep. You're going to go with this new person. Look at this. I said to you that you are walking away because you want a brand new beginning. What does this person represent? A brand new beginning, the same Ace of Wands. This person's gonna change your life. We have the butterfly there. This is interesting in such a beautiful way. In fact, tomorrow's bonus weekend reading is about singles slash new love. So that is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be right up your alley, Aquarius. Wow, okay, this person wants something brand new and they, look at this, they're hyper fixated on you. They know exactly what they want. They want you, and I feel like that's gonna be a turn on. I feel like you're gonna be flattered. They're gonna go above and beyond to be in your life. I feel like this person, I, I just feel like you're not trusting them. You're not trusting them 100% and you may have lost faith. Let's talk about the fool. Let's say this person, this new person, wants to have a brand new beginning with you. We got the Acer once, twice. They're gonna take that leap of faith. Where is it gonna to lead to? Let's see. It is destined. We have the wheel of fortune and it will directly impact you in a positive way because we have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. There's the sword. We have Aquarius energy. It's a bit hard to see, but this is destined. This represents a new cycle, a new chapter, a brand new opportunity that is blessed. I, I told you, I said, this person will wait for you and this new person, you will not miss them because they are part of your destiny. You literally have Aquarius, pretty much out of all the other star signs I've done, the best outcome ever. The emperor wants a new start. They're gonna go for it. And now the card saying, hey, is it gonna pay off? Yes, because it is destined. Literally, I have goosebumps. I cannot wait to do your reading tomorrow. Remember at 12 p.m. it's going to be uploaded. It will be time stamped as well. So you go to the descrip description box below and you look for Aquarius, you click on it. So you just don't have to go and look through the other star signs. 
I'm going to focus on you, love. I want to focus on this person because I see that you are already walking away. That is it. You're going to break the cycle with this past person, even though they may sweeten the deal. They may ask you for a second chance. They may tell you I've changed. But like I said, you are judged, jury, and executioner. And I'm saying that in a very respectful way. But look at this. This new person is coming with the Ace of Wands twice. And who, and who is this person? We've got big boss energy, someone mature. This is the king of all kings. Congratulations, Aquarius. You're going to break the cycle and your spirit team. Look at this. This is your spirit team. They're behind this. They're going to reward you with a brand new love. It's time to smile. It's time to get excited again because you're going to get butterflies in your stomach. In other words, we start feeling like teenagers again. So do check out tomorrow's reading because I'm going to be focusing for you, Aquarius, this new person. Power to you. Never, ever change for anyone. And I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Bye, Aquarius.